What's going on guys? It's your boy Gio from Hair GC and in today's video I'm going to be talking about minoxidil, the two do's and don'ts and hopefully answer a few questions you might have along the line. Something weird you should know is that scientists discovered an interesting fact concerning beard treatment with minoxidil. As the multiple experiments proved, as well as a whole community of guys out there who straight up started using minoxidil for their beard, is that the increased hair growth on the face that appeared due to the use of minoxidil remained even after the user stopped using the medication. Now this is strange due to the fact that that's not exactly how it works when it comes to hair loss on the scalp. But anyways, the point is it's possible to thicken your beard in one year, give or take, and then just stop the use of minoxidil forever and still hold on to those beard gains. But you're probably asking yourself how this all works. Minoxidil works by expanding the blood vessels and increasing blood circulation, stimulating the hair follicles to grow fuller, and to be a bit more precise, it stimulates the dormant hair follicles and opens up potassium channels, allowing the hair to grow faster, look stronger, and more healthy. Minoxidil has visodilation properties. It helps to relax the muscle layer in the vascular walls, increasing the lumen in the vessels and increasing blood supply. As a result, this process leads to a noticeable increase in the nutrition flow to the hair follicles. Consequently, the hair moves to a phase of intensive growth. So you're probably asking yourself, how long should you be using minoxidil? In rare cases, people get the first result in two months. Usually it takes six or more, but for the completion of the treatment, the official recommendation is about 12 months. So between us, any brand that tells you otherwise is just trying to scam you. As a matter of fact, after three to five months of regular daily use of minoxidil, you will almost definitely see the result for your efforts. Instead of small frail hairs that unevenly cover your cheeks and chin, you will notice thicker, rougher hairs replace them. It should also be mentioned that you will get a denser beard under any circumstances if you use minoxidil as it is prescribed. However, though, the time needed to obtain the result may differ in people. It mostly depends on the state of your body, immune system, or hair health. When it comes to usage, you can use it twice a day in the morning and evening. If the morning procedure causes some inconveniences, you can use it once a day, but for maximum result, guys, stick to the two-time-a-day regime. As for how much minoxidil you should be using, apply one milligram of solution split to both cheeks. If you have a long stubble, you need more medicine as more hair equals more surface area for the medicine to linger on. If you also use it on the neck, then increase the amount to about 1.5 to 2 milligrams. Apply the medicine on dry skin and massage it into your face gently. And always remember minoxidil is used as only a topical solution or foam to apply to the skin. Try to follow the prescribed dosages on the box, although it really does depend on the amount and length of facial hair you're rocking at the time, so you can adjust the dosage accordingly. But just don't start going full beast mode pouring half the bottle on your face like a mad lad. I know for me the first question I had before I even thought about starting to use minoxidil was will I lose my beard gains if I stop? Tough question, however, like I said before, some people use it only for two to six months and still hold on to their beard gains. Sadly for me, I wasn't one of those people, so I recommend you don't go placing any bets and try to stick to the full 12 months, guys. I know for me I wasn't willing to play no games after the first try, so just stick to whatever the bottle says, boys, regardless of the brand of minoxidil that you choose to purchase in future. I won't be going into reviewing the specific brands of minoxidil on here, but if you want a more extensive breakdown on the different types of minoxidil the world has to offer, check out our blog post on the topic in the description box down below. And that is it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps us out. Let us know if you found the video helpful in the comments down below. My name is Gio from Hair GC, and I'll see you next time.